Hello, Rex. Oh my goodness, I am I am so excited for this stream. I am so very excited. I listen. I I have been basically talking about doing this stream for a while, and now I'm actually finally doing it. Hello, hello. Okay. Now. I did not explain very well in my post about what this stream would actually be. Hello, hello, hello everyone, hello Stella, hello, oh my goodness, hi, hi everyone, hi, 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 okay, <laughs> hi Cup, oh my god, wait, I need to move that chat box right down, there we go, that, that fits better, okay. So, I did not do a very good job of explaining what this stream would be, so I'm going to explain it properly now through uh, visual aid okay you may be wondering what is this 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 horrid black screen well I will tell you I explain the stream as being oh classification of things and some people took that to mean like like a tier list right it's not really a tier list I, I forgot what the word that I was looking for was it is not a tier list it is an alignment chart and the reason that it is an alignment chart of my own, my very own creation is because these are classifications for people and things that I have had in my brain for a very long time now. Um, but I was like, I finally expanded these classifications. So I will start off with what it started as, which was, hmm, I think that there are about two types of people in the world. Some people I think are crunchy and some people I think are chewy right and and I, I believe everyone or I did believe everyone could be defined by either being a crunchy person or a chewy person I myself I believe myself to be a crunchy person um, and uh, let's take an example of like a chewy person um, I think hmm what is a, a listen not many celebrities are chewy, but that is only by the nature of their jobs, because most of them actually fall into my new classifications. Um, so I will reveal to you now my chart that I came up with. And the way that I came up with this chart was because, well, I'll, I'll just let you see it. Boom. Hopefully you can see that on the screen now. This is my alignment chart. I believe everything on the planet can fit into this chart. So along the top here we have gooey, chewy, crunchy and crispy. This is, I mean, it's not necessarily about food, but it is, it does evoke a certain mouthfeel, right? It, it, it evokes a certain mouthfeel, yes. Also the colours do match up as well, I want to make that very clear. Gooey is pink, chewy is red, crunchy is orange, crispy is yellow etc etc i would say that sports mode is more of a neon yellow but for the sake of the like color consistently of c consistency of the chart it is a dark blue uh because that also fits but sports mode ideally would be a neon yellow crispy is yellow crispy is just yellow it's like a burnt yellow color so casual and crispy honestly that fits i think casual and crispy is good i am personally a casual crunchy sort of person um oh thank you for the follow well thank you thank you okay so to start off as an example right an example thing we're going to classify candy it is not for candy it is for literally everything right so I, I was saying earlier, gooey, chewy, crunchy, and crispy, this row at the top, it is not just for foods, but it does evoke a mouthfeel. Everything on the planet evokes a mouthfeel, people evoke a mouthfeel, that is just the way that it is, okay? So, as an example, I will be classifying this apple, right? So, obviously, apples are crunchy, right? Apples are just crunchy all the way. Apples are the epitome of crunchy mouthfeel and I believe that apples they're kind of business like think about it right like apple a day keeps the doctor away 
like you give teachers apples they're very formal i mean teachers aren't really formal but you know what i mean i think the crunchy business is where apple is sitting at right like it really it really just evokes business like feelings see see now i knew someone would be like sports mode apples are healthy apples are healthy which does evoke a kind of sports mode feeling but as an alternative to that argument i would say exactly exactly you absolutely get it the the smoothness and the rigidity of the apple right is what makes it business because it's all very uniform and an, an example of a fruit that would fit into the sports mode category i would argue is a banana bananas are so sports mode like what do you see runners having when they are done with like a jog or something like that to get that potassium up that's right it's bananas that's a sports mode fruit right there business is all apple oh no apple is all business exactly exactly now now that i've given an example yes 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 sports mode is about is about speed it's about efficiency right well yeah and business is about like rigidity yeah business apple business apple okay so now that i've got an example of how the chart works i am going to move on to some of the things that people request i categorize both uh my friends requested me do some of these things and also i got like a few asks on on tumblr to ask like to classify these things i don't think i have all of the class like all of the things that i've been asked to do just because it would take me way 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 too long ah you forgot what you requested but don't you worry i remember <laughs> i most certainly remember because it was very good okay so to start us off we're gonna we're gonna classify the concept of leap seconds which i didn't know were a thing but I found out they were a thing when I watched the video about leap seconds and it made my brain melt, right? And because it made my... See, I, I had the same question. I had the same question. And the answer uh, is apparently like every two to three years, um, it's to keep like clock alignments with the earth's rotation it's the same cause for like leap years and leap days and stuff like that i mean leap days is basically the same thing as a leap year it's it's the same thing so it's a second that like every two or three years they just tick the clock back a second and and fuck clocks fuck clocks i hate it i hate everything about leap seconds and so basically this made my brain melt and because that they're going straight into the GUI category. Now, as for luxury business, sports mode and casual, they're most certainly business. There's nothing fun about a leap second. There's nothing remotely enjoyable about a leap second. They're, they're all business, no, no, casual, no casuality about these things. That's a GUI business right there. Okay. Um, I do want to say, I do want to preface as well for this alignment chart, none of the categories themselves have explicit positive or negative correlations to them like for example chewy could be bad like if you get like a really really chewy like i don't know what's something bad that's chewy it's not like good i don't know like something that gets stuck in your teeth that can be chewy you you don't really want that but chewy can also be like 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 a like a like a haribo sweet or something like it can be both good and bad like business can be good and bad and all of these things have no specific connotation of uh, morality <laughs> is the only word i could look for in my brain now the next thing i have in my arsenal of things that i've been asked to classify is actually the most horrific creature that i've ever had to lay my eyes on and it was requested by um i can't remember who requested it but it was someone on tumblr who's part of like the shit stains and you guys torment me so they torment me so um and they have asked me to classify their horrific creature i don't know this guy apparently is called bean man i hate bean man i hate everything about him i hate everything he stands for he is he is 
awful to look at. He's awful, I imagine, to be around. He doesn't look like he has a good... <laughs> I also hate this man. This guy sucks. I hate Bean Man, right? First of all, everything about him screams Chewy to me. Like, this is a Chewy man. He gets stuck in your teeth, but also he likes it. I don't I don't think he deserves to go out in public. I Everything about him makes me mad. This is a Chewy man. And second of all, he's going straight into casual. If I saw him in a business setting, I would ask him to leave the premises. He is not luxurious and most certainly no exercise is being done by this man. And I want to make him very small so I don't really have to look at him that much. This is a chewy casual man. <laughs> Cup, he is not friendly. He is not friendly. Nothing about this man is friendly. He looks like he would smell you in the street. I don't want him anywhere near me, right? He looks like he'd smell you in the street. Okay, I'll make him even smaller. I'll make I'll make him smaller. I I also I hate looking at him. Okay, I think that's about as small as we can get for Bean Man without it just completely like not being accessible to me. But and fuck Bean Man! I hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> in soup, he'd make the soup taste like shit and garbage and piss. Agree, agree. I hate him. Anyway, now that we don't have to deal with Bean Man anymore, we're actually going to move on to Rex's suggestion, which actually, when I saw this, it did actually make me laugh. Like, just the specificity of it, I was like, okay, that's good. It is the Flymo Easy Store 300R Light 30 centimeter Cordless Lawn Mower, and I'm assuming that it runs on 40 volt electricity, or whatever that means. This is the most sports mode looking thing I've ever seen in my life. It's cordless. It's a lawnmower. It's, it, it, this thing is sports mode, right? <laughs> it looks like a good lawnmower, first of all. I will say, points against it being sports mode is that it does look a little chunky there in the back. Oh, it does look like a bug. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I, I, I will say, points against it being sports mode is that it's a little bit chunky in the back, but other than that, the fact that it's cordless and it's used for outdoor activities makes this thing a solid sports mode uh, creation in my mind. As for gooey, chewy, crunchy, crispy, this thing's a little crispy, like, mm, okay, actually no, I'm going to put this one to a vote. Is it crunchy, because grass is like generally crunchy, or is it crispy? Because I'm getting crispy vibes from the orange color of it all. Oh wait, no, because crunchy is orange. Oh, crispy or crunchy? I'm getting crispy vibes and also crunchy vibes. Crispy because the orange Hexbox vibe. That's good. That's a good point. Hexbox are definitely crispy. Okay. It seems like it's it's a, it's a crispy. Oh, crunchy, crunchy, crispy. Nah, I'm putting it. I'm 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 putting the the Flymo lawnmower into crispy sports mode. I think that that is where this this uh this guy belongs. That is most certainly where this guy belongs. Okay, now on to what I think is gonna be a lovely a lovely experience for all of us to classify right now. It's Stella's cat. It's Stella's cat. When Stella sent me her cat, I was like. Ah, this is exactly what I want to see. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I will have a pleasure categorizing. Now, I think most cats will either fit into... Well, I'm actually not going to say, but Stella's cat is so cute. <laughs> yeah, honestly, get Stella's cat on here as a regular guest and my viewership will skyrocket. It's going to be great. <laughs> okay. Now, based on the physicality of Stella's cat, right? This is a smooth cat. I'm thinking either business or sports mode. Based on, I don't know Stella's cat personally, so I can't really offer my judgment on this. But Stella, because you are in the chat, is your cat more hyper as, as, a, as a creature? Or more sort of like, I don't know, more laid back? Because that will be the deciding factor between business and sports mode. Because a, 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 a laid-back cat is luxury business, and a hyper cat is sports mode casual. It's all in the fur. It's all in the fur. He's very hyper. I'm aiming for a sports mode cat then. 
And most cats are chewy or crunchy. This is just a fact of life. I've not met many crispy cats or gooey cats personally. He's a kitten and he wants to play and he jumps at my legs. Oh, jump at your legs. That's a crunchy cat. That's a crunchy cat for sure. He's a jumper. That's a crunchy cat. Your cat, Stella, is officially a crunchy sports mode cat. Stella's cat is an Olympian. Stella's cat is the best at everything. And Stella's cat is crunchy sports mode. Thank you for attending this classification of Stella's cat. <laughs> okay. Next thing on... Stella's cat is truly better than us all. This is true. Uh, next next thing on uh, the, the list. Um, I was sent this by an Anon message. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to try my best. And um, it looks like a creature of nightmares. It's this guy... Um, let me do a quick Google sh Google search as to who this is because I'm 90% sure it's some kind of demon. Um, it's like Ny Nyarthalotep. Uh, that is how it is read as, uh, oh, okay. It's from a HP Lovecraft thing, which makes it even better. Uh, Ny... I don't know how to fucking say this. It's a really stupid name. It's a fictional character created by H.P. Lovecraft. The character is a malign deity in the Cthulhu Mythos, a shared universe. First appearing in Lovecraft's 1920 prose poem, The Name of the, the Thing. He was later mentioned in other works by Lovecraft and by other writers. So... A malign deity. Let's Google the definition of malign because I also don't know that. Malign definition, please. Evil in nature or effect. Thank you. So, this this demon... Um, <laughs> yeah, he looks like he resides in drains. He looks like he resides in your cupboard at night time. And he looks like he resides in my nightmares. So... I think that this guy is looking kind of luxury, to be honest. Um, hi Jamie, this is a uh, Nyala Thotep, a uh, creation of H.P. Lovecraft's very own mind, and is now being transplanted into yours uh, in in your nightmares. You're welcome. Um, I'm thinking this guy's kind of luxury, even though he is he is a malign deity. First of all, I want to make that very clear. This this guy from H.P. Lovecraft's mind, he is a malign deity. That's got luxury written all over it. Like, th peep the robe? Peep the robe? H.P. <laughs> Lovecraft's mind is not something I want access to, but has unfortunately been granted to me here on my screen. Like, peep the robe. This guy's luxury. As for gooey, chewy, crunchy, and crispy, he's giving me kind of crispy vibes. He looks a little burnt i mean from this painting specifically he looks like he's surrounded by perhaps ash smoke of some kind it's giving crispy it's giving burn it's giving setting you on fire i this guy i don't want to look at him for too long i would like to move on um just just get on in here to luxury crispy my guy paint is chewy paint is chewy yes but i'm speaking more about like the aesthetics here. Paint is absolutely a chewy object though, you are so correct. Okay, on to the next thing. Right, the next thing I've got I'm very excited to do. It's the Eads of March. I think that's how you say it. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, I've messed it up. I've messed it all up. Okay, it's back. Oh, that could have been a disaster. Oh god, I keep messing things up. There we go. Is that time in business gooey? Wait, what? Eads of March. Um, I think... I think... Hmm. Well, it's certainly all business. You're right there. Uh, like, all business killing Julius Caesar. He was, he was, you know, in the way of, you know, business things in ancient Rome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why didn't they, like, 
you know, do something about that if they all hated him. Anyway. <laughs> That's not me. That's not me. You can't come into my stream and, and, no, no, I'm not dealing with this. Absolutely not. Anyway. Uh, this is a business time. This is definitely a business time. Killing, killing that guy, all business, no pleasure. All business, no pleasure. No, 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 we're not doing this. We're not doing this. You you can't overthrow me on my own stream. I'm not allowing that. I will not allow it. Okay. Now, I'm thinking that this is kind of a crunchy move. I'm, I'm torn between chewy and crunchy. Like, this is kind of a crunchy move to stab up a guy. <laughs> I, I'm... No, you can't overthrow me right now. This is not fair. No, no overthrowing. I'm not allowing it. Absolutely not. See, it's casual attire, but the action itself, the action itself is business. I'm putting this into business crunchy before I get overthrown by the chat. Because I'm not enjoying this. Also... Apparently the Eads of March now has the same vibes as an apple, which I actually fully support. I mean, I know I put them both in these categories, but like, I fully support this, okay? Knives are very crunchy, all right. Okay, next thing, next thing. Now, the two things that I, okay, the two next things were requested to me by the same person, and I was requested to review them in order which tells you everything you need to know about both of the items I'm about to review and the person who sent them to me, M. The first thing is this action figure of the main guy from One Piece. This guy, I don't know much about him, but based on his attire, it's giving casual crunchy. <laughs> mm, yes, my favorite character from, from One Piece, Naruto. Love this guy. Anyway, he's going directly into crunchy casual. Anyway, the next thing on the list, which I was asked to uh, review directly after the first thing, is this. Let's all just wallow in the absolute shame I have for M right now. Let's all just sit here and wallow in it for a minute. Because I don't enjoy it one bit. I'm not a fan of it and I will be sending her a request for basically I'm going to order death on her but that's we're not going to talk about that can that go in the top left blank corner gooey luxury you're putting yeah first of all it would have been gooey no matter what we can all agree and it's definitely see but luxury though are you sure luxury oh it just here <laughs> yeah, that can just go here. I'm not, I'm actually refusing to participate in this classic classification. It's not chewy, what's wrong with you? <laughs> He's made of rubber. Now that changes things. Where is Luffy, where is he? If, if, if he's made of rubber, he's going directly into chewy casual because Rubber, as we all know, is, is chewy. I'm not classifying the jar. I refuse. I refuse to do it. I refuse. Anyway, the next thing on the list is a lot more uh, good. It's a lot more wholesome. It's a lot more, well, I wouldn't say wholesome. It's a lot more just normal. We love normal things here. We love being normal. It is a one-handed mini keyboard. Woohoo! Yay! It's normal. We love it. We love normal things. Anyway. It's a 10% keyboard. It's one-handed. I'm assuming it comes with another hand with the other bit of the keyboard. So hashtag normal core. I don't know why it's missing half the keys. This was the picture I was provided with. Okay. Most certainly sports mode. Most certainly crispy. No. No. Most certainly sports mode, most certainly chewy. This is a chewy, a chewy possession. Uh, gamer grip controller one-handed mini keyboard is going in the chewy sports mode section. Okay. 
Now, the next thing that I have been asked to classify. Gooey from- don't call it Gamer Goo. Don't, please, please don't call it Gamer Goo. Please don't, please, 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 please never say those words in that order or configuration ever again. Please, I'm begging you, please. You're actually, I'm, you're banned. No, I'm joking. I'm, I wouldn't do that to you. On your third offense, I'll maybe consider it. Don't call it that either. Absolutely not. I'm not allowing it. Will not allow it. Never allowed. Stockholm City Hall. Love me some architecture. I'm, okay. Timed out. You are timed out. You are timed out. How do I time you out? There you go. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love not seeing those messages anymore. That's amazing. Wait, I don't know how to not, I don't know how to untime you out. Wait, this sucks. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Okay, you are no longer timed out. I've granted you speaking permission again. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Stockholm City Hall, we love it. Uh, I mean, listen, I don't know much about Stockholm and I don't really know what a city hall is for, but city hall sounds very, you know, very, very business-like. I think a lot of business is going on in a city hall, perhaps, maybe. It's definitely not for, you know, just any old plebeian to walk in. Your favorite place in the world. I've never been here. I have never been to Stockholm. Um, I've heard nice things, I guess. Uh, wait, hang on. I have some DMs. Oh, I have, I have three, <laughs> I have three DMs here from Jamie, um, that are just, they're just, oh, hang on. Let me, let me just, let me just, uh. three DMs here from Jamie. Um, <laughs> um, so let's let's all just pause this a second because I'm just gonna anyway. Um, Stockholm City Hall. <laughs> Stockholm City Hall. My what a lovely building. It's it's giving gooey biz no. It's giving crispy business. That that brickwork, that's some crispy brickwork. <laughs> yeah, for for someone with a moomin profile picture, Jamie is surprisingly a very violent individual. Uh extremely violent, uh beats me up all the time. You know, just really horrible to be around. Uh, oh, sorry, is this live? I forgot. <laughs> anyway, funny that, isn't it? Wait, you've got a good image. Send me, send me this image. I would love to see it. Send me, send me, send me. Let me have a look at this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let me just. Ugh. Uh, Ugh. Uh. Just, I don't like this. I don't like this image one bit. I will show it to the stream, but like, I don't think anyone's going to enjoy this. I don't think anyone's going to enjoy this whatsoever. It, it, it's, it's really just not great to look like. What? Where did you find this? Have you been here? I hate this. Every, every nerve in my body is igniting at once, and it's making me afraid to look at it. First of all. No! No! Nightmare blunt rotation! Nightmare! Nightmares, nightmares! Imagine you're high off your fucking ass, you turn around and see these motherfuckers looking at you. Of course they're in Scotland. Let's all go on a- let's all go on a road trip to Scotland. I think that they- I too think that they would get along with Bean Man. 
let's just let's just let's just put them down here with Bean Man, you know, make him very small. Bean Man and them can hang out here. I don't want to look at those things anymore. <laughs> those things are just awful, awful, awful experiences. Donkey looks like Crumb Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. No, no. I just oh. Ugh. Let's hang on. Let's just have a look at these guys more. We got the. We got. First of all. I don't like what they've done to. The gingerbread man. I don't. I mean, ignoring everything else on here. I don't like what they've done to the gingerbread man. Uh. Person Boots looks like he's sucked on a lemon. To. <laughs> Donkey's mouth, yeah, he does, he's giving, he's giving Pelican. If Shrek 5 looked like this, I would assume that it was, like, they'd sold off the, the rights to, like, I don't know, what's the studio that made Ratatouille? That is, that is what I would assume happened there. DreamWorks were like, nah, we don't need to do this one, they've got it handled. 2014 Indie Oreo. They would never sell to Disney. Unless they already have done that, in which case, boo, boo, and fuck Disney. Anyway, I'm very, very, very excited about the next thing on the list because, let me tell you, I, I, it is a TV show and I rushed home every day after school to watch this TV show. It was so good. It was so good. I, <laughs> the fact that the Shrek like appears on top of everything, that's so funny. This, this show is so, so good, okay? Uh, for those who don't know, because it did air on like, I, I don't like it, I just don't, just don't, I don't, stop it. Anyway, for those who don't know, because this was like a CBBC show, I think. Um, yeah, it was a CBBC show. Um, this, this show, Am I High, it's like, it's like the show Totally Spies, if it was like 90% more shit. It had a boy as main character, and it took place in a British secondary school. Like, it's it's so awful. Yeah, like, like it was awful in terms of budget. I want to make it very clear. Budget is the thing that was awful. Everything else about it was amazing. Like, this is the thing that you were watching if you were cool. They had these, like... They got addicted to rap burgers. Yeah, lots of TV in, in like, the early 2000s was like that. But, yeah... They, they had these pencils and it was like if they were in class or whatever and the 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 end of the pencil the eraser of the pencil lit up red like they would have to rush out and like go fight crime or whatever like it was it was good okay they were spies it was amazing yes the children's british broadcasting company whoa but yeah am i am i high dear to my heart this thing it's sports mode. It's definitely a sports mode sort of thing. And I think that Am I High was kind of a bit crunchy. Like, Am I High being crunchy sort of makes sense in my brain. Like, just because, I mean, first of all, BBC children's budgets weren't amazing. So all of the footage and all of the costuming and all of the set design was very crunchy. That guy's hair gel was crunchy. Just everything about it, it's giving crunchy. And obviously, they're spies, so it's going sports mode. It's definitely sports mode, and they can be placed right here next to Stella's cat. Stella's cat can be in MI High. That's fine. I would I would kill to see, to see Stella's cat on MI High. That would be amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing I've got to categorize is a request from Josie. And uh, Jamie, you might want to avert your eyes here because it is a request from Josie. So therefore, it is a monkey. And um, you don't really like monkeys. I know, I'm sorry, it's a monkey. I know, I'm sorry. I had to do at least one monkey for Josie, okay? It's, it's, it's one of the cute ones though. It's one of the little ones. We're going to see monkeys tomorrow. You can't be like, no, no monkeys. Yeah. Jamie, what are you going to do when we're walking around Monkey World? Are you just going to be like throwing up all over the place and like having a tantrum on the floor? Because I'm not supervising you do that. 
I'll pretend I don't know you, even if we arrive in the same car. I'm going to literally pretend you don't exist if you do that. Yeah, see, Stella's got the right idea. Monkeys are cute, especially this monkey, as this is a capuchin monkey. And these are like, these are the ones that they train to like be in movies and stuff. So, I mean, the fact that they're training them to be in movies is giving me very business because like, these guys are little actors, they're little professionals, you know? Like all of the monkeys that you see, like especially the one in Night in the Museum, that's a business monkey right there. And monkeys, of course, are gooey. I, I cannot offer you more than that. They are just gooey creatures. So we've got our first, uh, we've got, we've got our little, we've got a little gooey business. We've got a little gooey business here. Here is our gooey business monkey right there next to leap seconds. <laughs> okay. And wow. Okay. We've really steamed through all of that. If anyone, okay. I need, I need last minute requests here. This monkey has a 401k. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Hello, person here. Oh, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to ban you because you're advertising in my chat. Um, anyway, any any last minute requests? Ah, oh, hi Josie. Josie, your your little monkey here. Business monkey galore, okay? It's a gooey business monkey. You have a picture for me? Is it nightmares? Oh, horrible histories! That's that's base, that's base. Hang on. Uh let me get up a little picture for horrible histories here. Let me get up a nice picture for horrible histories. I love this show. All of the songs in it are like so top notch. Everything about horrible histories is literally amazing, like like honestly like they they had like two sets or like maybe three sets and like all of the costuming was like as accurate as they could get it like they tried so hard and all of the songs are amazing like hang on hang on uh horrible histories uh where is it where is it here we go horrible histories <laughs> okay Horrible Histories, very casual. Horrible Histories is a casual kind of show. Like, it's the one that you would just put on, or like, the teacher would put on an episode of Horrible Histories to show in class instead of like, actually making you do your work. Really? Oh my God, that is so cool. The Boudicca song is so good as well. Everything about it, like the original Girl Power song, amazing. Like, like it's very casual. And I'm gonna say that it's kind of crunchy. Like again set design very poor like costuming very good and also it was about the history it was about history and history just gives very crunchy so i'm gonna put horrible histories lovingly into crunchy casual crunchy casual is where it's at here we go right down here um jamie has sent me an image so let's find out what this is oh my god oh my god you guys you 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 people just send me nightmares. You people just send me nightmares and are like, ah, here you go, this is so fun. Have you considered it's not fun for me to look at your nightmares? Hang on. The Charles II song was so good, but I will have to say that it's not the best song because the best song like, look at this nightmare. The best song is the King George's song. Anyway, I, this is Jamie's nightmare that he sent to me. Um, I just, everything about it makes me uncomfortable. Everything about it makes me recoil. Uh, I don't like the horse, first of all. I don't like horses. Um, Luigi has been horsified. And I do not like that. Um, so I'm just gonna shove this so lovingly into Crispy Casual down there with Jamie's threat that he sent to me in DMs. You both get to go in Crispy Casual, okay? Just very Crispy Casual vibes happening right now. Luigi has in fact never looked worse. What do you think of Luigi? You think that's Luigi at his, at his best? I'm... 
I'm, oh god. You must hate Luigi, damn. <laughs> this will be graphics in 2015. What? Oh, oh. M has now DM'd me something and I am terrified. Oh my god, of course. Of course it is. Of course. Of course. Oh, I, honestly, how could I have expected anything different from you, M? Like, you got a one-trek mind. Luigi is a normal horse. Luigi is n most certainly not a normal horse. Or a horse at all. Luigi is a man. A hu- well, debatably human man. Where- where- where is he? M has asked me to categorize streamer Germa. Uh... Who is that? You know this. Come on, you know this one. Uh, a famed serial killer, psychopath, actual psychopath, Germa, the streamer. Um, I agree. I agree he's chewy. I agree that this is a chewy kind of man. And I think that Germa's a little businessman. He's a very successful streamer. He does lots of things with lots of other people. You know? Can I... Can I please free move this this item? There we go. He's going directly into Chewy business, right? Uh, I'm not idolizing him. Idolizing? I'm not idolizing Germa. M's idolizing Germa. Actual serial killer psychopath Germa. Uh, he's he's a Chewy business, okay? That is the vibes that this man gives off. Also, like. Just everything, like, look at his hair, first of all. That's, that's not casual looking hair. Do you see the elegance of the swoop right there? That's... He's spreading lies uh, about himself and others. That's what he's spreading. There we go. Hair unchanged since 2016. And that's why he's business. No one dedicates that amount of time. No one dedicates that amount of time to making sure their hair swoop is, is immaculate since 2016 if they're not all about business, you know? So that is that is where he's going. Now, as you can see, we still have some empty squares going on here, right? We still have some empty squares going on. I have yet to um, have been asked to rate anything gooey luxury, chewy luxury, or crunchy luxury because luxury is kind of a rare sort of thing. Not many things are luxury, you know. Old Germa is sports mode, new Germa is something else. Germa is, is business, okay? Oh my god, okay, fine. I'll rank the jar. It can go down here in gooey casual. Okay? It can go down there in gooey casual, where it belongs, okay? Arguably the worst category there is. Gooey casual is just so gross, okay? That's where the jar could go. It can go right down there in gooey casual, where it belongs. No, I will not accept anything else, okay? Now... I'm, I'm gonna tentatively, tentatively, you found something that is gooey sports mode. That's terrifying. What about those aliens that were made of goo and gave- <gasps> Oh my god. I know what you're talking about. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Now, pause a second. I know exactly what you're talking about and I am I know exactly where to put these things. This this motherfucker. This little bitch right here. Okay? I love them. I love them so much, but you know what? I never got to have one. I never got to have one because because they they're, first of all, that's what my mum said. My mum said that they were gross and she was like, oh, you're never, you're gonna 
get it all furry if you drop it on the floor and I was like I don't care I want one so bad so to these like to me these were these things were like the height of luxury right if your parents allowed you to have one of these little alien freaks you were living the high life you were absolutely living the high life so this this motherfucker right here is going directly directly into gooey luxury right he he truly belongs there up there up right in on the pedestal of chewy luxury right just he he belongs he belongs there uh ooh okay i have just uh looked at the image that uh jamie has sent me here and i agree with his classification so Hang on a mo. Come on, where is it? Here we go. This right here is Powerade, right? Powerade is like basically the British version of Gatorade, but I'm pretty sure that we have Gatorade here too. If we don't, whatever, who cares? Powerade, I agree, is a gooey sports mode beverage. I agree, it is a gooey sports mode beverage. That is going directly here into gooey sports mode. This is 100% where it belongs. That That is where, that is gooey sports mode to the max, okay? <laughs> Convinced has something terrible within it. Honestly, like, this, it doesn't look healthy. It doesn't look like it would mesh well with a human body where you're meant to put it. It doesn't. I don't know, honestly it looks like it would just give you some sort of like brain problem. I don't know. It's not made, I am not convinced it's made of any real fruit or like food material or anything natural. I'm I'm convinced that they like harvest it from some kind of like creature. Cause like I just, like they synthesize this shit in a lab, you know. It's not berries color, it's blue. It is not made of berries. It, oh, it's made of batteries. I agree. It's it's pure gooey sports mode. It's made of acid. It's made of pure acid and nothing else. People who drink this scare me. Especially the people, like, at our school we had people who would, like, put it in their water bottles and just, like, drink it all day and it would have, like, a litre water bottle filled with, like, this blue awful shit. <laughs> oh, shut up, Melvin. Oh my god. I love eating batteries. I love it. I love it. It, yeah, literally. Just, just everything so bad about it. Now. Crunchy luxury. You may, you may, uh. Now, hold on. Crunchy luxury. Hmm. Crunchy luxury is not a category like meth from breaking bad crunchy luxury are you sure are you sure wait 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 what it's blue because raspberries are blue no that's just no blue raspberry is a flavor blue raspberry wait i need to google something ah uh, uh, berries blue can 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 raspberries be blue? Are raspberries blue? Can raspberries be blue? There is no such thing in nature as a blue raspberry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Rank the queen. Okay, I can do that. The queen. Let, where is she? Oh no! I've just found the most desolate image of her. This is amazing. On. I've just found the most desolate looking image of the queen. Raspberry was always blue because it differentiates it from strawberry, idiot. The, the most desolate looking image of the queen that I could possibly find. I mean, as much as I loathe to admit it, the queen is very luxury, you know. She's royalty. Um... And this particular, I don't know, okay? She's not okay. She's not okay. 
nothing about her is okay. She's like very old, okay? She's very, very old. <laughs> I feel like something. Wait, I need to find out where this image is from. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I need to find a different image of the queen. Um. <laughs> There we go. There we go. This I can use this one instead, not the one that was from um, Prince Philip's tribute. Uh, uh, not not the one that's from from Prince Philip's tribute. I can use this one instead. I can use this image. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys. Don't you worry. Uh, we're not disrespecting the the dead royal family around here, even though we kind of maybe should. Not her cousin's beautiful Stella. Anyway, we'll use this beautiful, lo lovely image of the queen instead. Um, now, obviously, the uh, neon orange <laughs> traffic coat. Look at <laughs> this, this like fucking neon orange, like fucking. Oh my god, this awful outfit that she's got on. Listen, okay, the queen needs to find a better stylist. Like devious smile. She looks like, oh my god, when the queen smiles, it looks like she's plotting and planning something. And like, most certainly she is, because, you know, it's the royal family, they're plotting and planning. Like, they, they, the royal family plot and plan, okay? It's just so much. It really... And as we all know, orange is a crunchy colour. I truly believe that the queen is a little bit crunchy, especially in her old age. Like, she's crunched up a bit as she's aged. I feel like everyone as they age gets a bit crunchy. And, I mean, royal family, you know, luxury. Yeah, you know, people crunch up as they age. Their bones, that's crunchy. I mean, I'm only 20, but my bones are kind of crunchy already. And, like, I'm not even, like, aged, you know? Oh my god! Willis! Willis! Oh! Okay. Treason stream is- I'm, I feel like I'm about to get, like, attacked in my home. You- you're not wrong, but maybe don't say that on my stream where it will be public. Or maybe do, I don't care, I might not get in trouble for it. Off with the head. Now listen. Cut the camera- <laughs> I feel like my house is about to be broken into like oh my god. I'm home alone right now. They, they can get me They can fucking get me. Okay. Uh, let's just move on. Let's just move on uh, Chewy crunchy 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 luxury crunchy luxury. There you go. There you go Queenie You get to sit comfortably in some crunchy luxury right now and Oh, I forgot um, No, Lizzie cannot find me. I'm well Actually, I'd love for Lizzie to come find me, because then I'll have some. I'll have some words with her. I'll have some words with her. I don't think your mum being home would have stopped them anyway. You don't. You underestimate my mum. You underestimate my mum. The first time, my. Mm, should I actually say that on stream? I'm deciding not to. Anyway. Moving on, ha ha ha. I have something that will fill out the last square on the chart. And it is a suggestion from Martin. Um, it, was a, it, was, it was his suggestion. I just forgot to add it before the stream started. So I can, I can add it now. And that will, you know, uh, f finish off the chart nicely, I think. Because I just realized that it fits into the last square. And... Let me, let me find it here. Oh, come on. Here we go. It is the color purple. And you may be thinking, oh, oh, but wouldn't, wouldn't the color purple be in, in luxury gooey? No, you're wrong. You're wrong. Purple is a chewy color, okay? It's definitely luxury. Don't get me wrong. It is most certainly luxury. But that's chewy if I've ever seen it. Like, something about that? Oh, I want to sink my teeth in it. I want to chew on it. Purple can go there right in, in chewy. Purple is so chewy, and I'm glad we agree. So. 
Cadbury's does not taste like shit and piss. Take that back right now. You taste like shit. No. No, 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 no. Cadbury's does not taste like shit and piss. Oh my god. Can you die? Sorry. No, I can't say that on stream. Can you go away? Anyway. Yeah, so, you know, here we have the finished chart. Here we have the finished alignment chart. I mean, obviously this is not everything as well. Maybe I'll do like a sequel, a sequel in the future if if I if I feel like it, you know, a sequel like classifying more things. Or maybe I'll come up with a whole new alignment chart of different classifications and we can like do the same things or something. But um, yeah, this is the finished chart. So thank you to everyone who came along and joined in and stuff. This is really fun. I, I want to do more stuff like this in the future. Like, like, um, yeah, I saw it everything. This is everything in the human experience. You know, we got gooey aliens, the color purple, the queen, demons, like a building, Stella's cat. This is, this is the entire human experience. Thank you, Rex. I, I had, real, I had a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming and Let's let's do a little oh end screen end screen ha 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 Anyway thank you for coming and goodbye